You see a code example that shows you how to execute a query that returns a single value, a single result. You can see the query here. Select you from user you where you dot email equal to user at email dot com. Uh, this is not a uh, standard uh, SQL. It's the JPQL or Java persistent query language, which is similar to a uh, standard SQL. Uh, this uh, JPQL uses object oriented syntax which is more convenient for programmers uh, you can see you can see u.email here is object oriented syntax it assesses the email field of the user object uh, named u And the next statement creates a query object uh, from the query string and the red single result method to execute the query and returns a single result, such as an integer value, a string, or an object. And here's the second example that executes a query that returns a collection of values such as a list of uh, mapped objects uh, from the database you can see we use the uh, get a result list method uh, of the query object uh, this code uh, executes the query that uh, retrieves all rows from the table user and return the result as a collection, a list of mapped user objects. It's very cool, isn't it? Unnamed, the unnamed query in JPI is a query string which can be embedded with in a model class using uh, uh, the annotation. You see. The annotation uh, add named queries and add named query here. You can see this annotation here. This is a uh, uh, content of the query. You see JPQL and this is a name of the query users.file you can uh, give it uh, any name so the query can be referred by its name as soon uh, uh, in the code below you see from the entity manager we create a name query and refer to a named query by its name. This uh, like creates a query object that refers to a query by its name. A JPI automatically loads named queries that are embedded in a model classes so you can call them in uh, the code. Uh, the benefit of using a named queries is that you can centralize related queries in one place typically in the model classes so you can manage uh, the queries easily when the code grows and become more complex as you can see uh, the add named queries annotation allows multiple add named query to be listed here so you can specify a, a multiple named query in a, a model class